Hello guys, Furball the Hammy, your friendly neighborhood hamster is back again for another Hypixel Skyblock video. As you'll notice, today's video isn't following the usual upload schedule. Yes, I do have an upload schedule. My upload schedule is 4 times a week on Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday, and will all be released at 7pm in the time zone of GMT plus 8. But today is special, because I'm here to announce the celebration of the 1000 subscriber milestone and the 100 100,000 view mark. Six digits guys. I never expected to be here when I started YouTube four months ago and now whenever I think about it, I personally do tear up a bit. As personally, I am an individual who is an introvert and scared of interacting with people in real life, pretty much started out at the bottom of the social ladder, not to the extent of being bullied, but you get my drift. Basically, I never expected myself to achieve so much progress in a short time, I never expected myself to be acknowledged, and I never expected myself to be blessed with this supportive community of viewers I do have. As I walk down this path of YouTube, I hope you will follow me as well, and we will carve our futures and our dreams together. The core values of my channel involves humility, resilience, and to speak and think with conviction. To truly pursue the dreams you want despite the difficulty, challenges, and setbacks that you will face down the road. And to think and speak with humility and empathy after success. These are the core values of my channel that I aim to achieve beyond just Skyblock, Minecraft, and any guides I do make in the future. And I do hope that you will follow the hand the family down this uphill yet fiery path burning with passion and genuine feeling. So with that, I hope you guys, whether new or an old viewer to my channel, I am celebrating this special occasion with a huge giveaway. Thanks to some of you guys who donated to this giveaway to make it even larger than I intended to be. Today we will be giving away, wait, you better listen to what I'm going to say carefully because you will probably be shocked. Let me repeat, we are giving away 10 sets of 1 million coins, 1 leaping sword, 1 revenant falchion, 1 critical 6 and 1 vampirism 6 book, 1 epic wolf pet, 1 legendary bee pet, 1 special backpack of hot potato books and other goodies, as well as 1 protector dragon armor set. So, I am not going to pull a pricks and claim all those are mine. I will give a shout out to everyone who donated and special people I would like to thank, as you can see on the screen. Thank you for your donations as well as your time, namely Oxcat, Man's Worst Nightmare, Moose Royale, Shield Agent CD, and Remy L. Salawi, and many others too. But it would be a one hour long list if I had to mention everyone, so don't be disheartened if your name isn't mentioned. I still love you guys as much as every other subscriber, viewer, and Discord member equally. And hence, to participate in this giveaway, just press that subscribe button down below and enter the Discord server link in the description. And click on the party emoji button under the channel hashtag giveaway. You will have 3 days to press this button as soon as this video is released, so fear not. You will still have plenty plenty of time to check out my discord and click on that button. And after 3 days, the release of the results of those who won will be released. So good luck to everyone and 10 lucky people will become a millionaire after this video and the giveaway. So with the giveaways in place, let's cover today's topic on how I charted my 9 month progress in Skyblock, turning from rags to riches. So, I would tell you guys how I progressed from the start when I started Skyblock 9 months ago, all the way up to where I am today. So, when Skyblock was first released, it was during the holidays for me and I tried it out be before being addicted to it, just like everyone else. When I first started, I didn't really know what was going on and I just grinded for Lapis Armor and I was dirt. Poor. I didn't know how to make use of minions, get minion slot skills, and didn't understand collections at all. So basically, I was a hitless chicken, or I mean, a hitless hamster, I mean. But eventually, I got bored of the game and set down a bunch of emerald minions once I figured out minion slots existed and got emerald armor soon after or when the end update was released. So basically, I started with the end update with a golem sword and emerald armor. I grinded out the ender armor by stabbing the 6000 health 
Enderman in the end and basically I did get my own set of Ender Armor and afterwards I tried to stab Zealots to grind summoning ice but to no avail, I lacked damage which led to me to put down a bunch of cave spider minions to get a leaping sword. Fun fact, Tarantula minions didn't exist back then. <laughs> And afterwards, I got my leaping sword and I started stabbing zealots and I grinded zealots with my ender armor until I got enough eyes and pawned all of the eyes into wise dragon armor. I was one of the early adopters of wise dragon armor and yes, back then, wise dragon armor was overpowered. Especially when rogue sword had no cooldown whatsoever and back in the days when young dragon armor sucked. And there were few people with wise dragon armor essentially meant that once you had wise dragon armor, you could dominate the entire dragon's den and get 5, 6, 7 or even 8 eyes per hour. Because there was weak competition basically, especially early on with the end's release. And with that, I grinded more eyes, amassing even more wealth, attaining another 8 million coins to buy an aspect of the dragons. Yes, aspect of the dragons used to cost a lot back then. And yeah, now it costs like 4 million coins. And back in the days, it was a symbol of wealth. And now it's more of a mainstay sword for late game players, sadly. And I grinded even more zealots, but with the upgraded power of the aspect of the dragons, I was able to run three very wise pieces and one godly wise piece, which enabled me to go even faster and to get even more eyes per hour. And with that, I grinded even more zealots, more and more with each passing day. Sold all my eyes until I attained around 30 million coins in wealth in my bank before I stopped selling eyes and instead chose to hoard a bunch of summoning eyes and eventually I saved up until I had a double chest of summoning eyes sitting on my island. Yes, and that was basically how I broke out of mid game. And to this day, even though wise dragon armor is not that viable and, is actual, and it is actually garbage, however, even in today's context, Zealot grinding is still the best method for mid game players to grind to late game or end game without requiring much cheese and a lot of memes by flipping an auction house if you don't know what I mean. But Zealots is the least risky way to get to late game and end game and it is also by far the most straightforward way. You just stab a bunch of zealots, you will eventually get enough eyes and you will become rich, right? And with that, with my new attained wealth, I started growing bored. But then, the almighty update that I love dearly to my heart, Slayers, was officially released shortly after I was bored. And I started out finding it challenging because I couldn't even solo a tier 4, not even Revenant. Hence, I grinded tier 3 Revenants until I got Zombie Slayer level 6, crafted myself a Reaper Falchion, and started slaying tier 4s until Zombie Slayer level 7. And if you haven't guessed it yet, I was gunning for the Scythe Blade because it sold for 100 million coins back then and I wanted to make big bucks. However, after hours and hours of grinding at around 250,000 XP, I gave up as the Scythe Blade prices were dropping to 50 mil and I didn't even get a Scythe Blade so far, but what I did get was two beheaded horrors. In a day. Thank you Hypixel. Soon after grinding so many revenants and with the revenant drops becoming virtually worthless, I came to the realization that I was running low on funds, since I literally dropped 25 million coins on revenant to get almost nothing in return. Which is sad, obviously. Hence, I sold my double chest of ice, which gave me a much needed boost in my sad looking bank. But instead of doing the same dumb thing as someone buying lottery tickets trying to get rich, I decided to grind tarantula and craft the, the web from the tarantulas I murdered into silk and into tarantula armor before I sold them, growing my wealth once again. I kept doing that until I reached Spider Slayer level 7 and got a mosquito shortly at 100 and 39,000 spider XP before getting bored and changing to Savan. Now, on the final Slayer boss Savan, I tackled it with my strong dragon armor and aspect of the dragons, killing tier 3s and the occasional tier 4 if I wanted to speed up progress. I generally did tier 3s and eventually got to Wolf Slayer level 6, which was when I could finally craft Mastiff armor. Yes, this isn't a mishearing on your part, Mastiff used to be at 
Wolf Slayer level 6. So to those who are complaining of grinding tier 3s to get Wolf Slayer level 4, to get Mastiff Armor before being able to even solo tier 4s, so basically it isn't that bad, okay? We had it way worse, especially those who adopted Slayers early on. And soon afterwards, I crafted the Mana Flux Power Orb, which was also at Wolf Slayer level 6, and is now still at Wolf Slayer level 6. And I grinded to Savan Slayer 7 afterwards, gunning for an Overflux Power Orb, but once again, to no avail. Very sad. Then I decided to return to my bread and butter, the Tarantula Slayer, and grinded tier trees like a madman. I grinded around 2500 tier trees before I stopped, and got a total of 6 Tarantula Talismans, and I sold the web as I crafted them into silk and into armor, with my army of NPC clicking walkers. Oh, how I loved the production line of Tarantula armor back in the days. It was as if I had a company and employed clicking workers. But sadly, my production has been shut down due to the bizarre update. But back then, with that grind, I made myself around 200 million coins and bought myself an Overflux Power Orb for 100 million coins. And shortly afterwards, I went back to Savan grinding and sold Pooch Swords for a living because I was bored with Tarantula. And I got even more cash, but I spent it on collecting as many talismans that I could get, namely. Spider Artifact, Red Claw Artifact, Wither and Ender Artifact along with the Ungodly Hunter Ring which costed me 30 million coins as well as Perfect 12. And I got bored of the game again, shortly afterwards. Soon after, the pets update came out and I got myself a Legendary Bee and Wolf Pet and by the way, the Legendary Bee I'm giving away? Yeah, that was the Legendary Bee I bought. I didn't really find a purpose for it after I got the wolf pet because I grind slayers, uh, B is not that useful to me especially if you're grinding slayers and I used the wolf to grind slayers and had quite a bit of fun with the speedy back to back slayer grind. The pets update wasn't that significant to be honest even though it was a good update and I was once again left the board again quickly due to the lack of challenges but with more items to make the laughable challenges even easier in skyblock. Later on, the bizarre update came out and it shook my world and turned me inside out upside down, decimating my bread and butter slayers. As now it was no longer profitable, at least my old methods weren't as great as before. However, I adapted to it and became a part-time flipper to cover for my negative costs from slayers as I continued to grind tier 4 savant to get my own legitimate overflux but got 3 grizzly baits instead and I made 820,000 savant xp at the time of writing this. So yeah, I'm sad, I'm depressed, someone give me a <laughs> and with that, that's the end of my story and that is the present me now in Hypixel Skyblock at the time of writing. I also bought a level 93 parrot pet for 32.5 million coins and a level 1 legendary total pet for 24 million coins. So yeah, as per usual life still goes on even if your money making method was decimated. I don't make as much money now as before compared to, but I mean, it's not like I really need more money now. I pretty much got everything I really wanted. So with that, I hope I gave you guys some insight into my Skyblock experience and life, and that I hope you guys will forge your own path to success in life and in Skyblock as well. And this is Furball the Hammy, the introverted hamster, signing out. Don't forget to like and to subscribe.